Welcome back to Blitzball r &M. Today, I'm reviewing LEGO Transformers Cybermane. Cybermane here is, if you couldn't tell, a, uh, a lion. He might not be a very good-looking lion. His mane is kind of pathetic. This is his face and a nice... Um, gold piece I got from the Infinity Gauntlet set. Um, he does have a bit of asymmetry here. It'll make a little bit more sense in robot mode. Um, you can tell the color scheme was black, gold, and gray. I think all these color schemes look really cool together. One thing I will specify about this guy is he is a triple changer, so that's kind of why some of the things, um, why his mode doesn't look as good. Um, but it was mostly designed for that mode. So moving on for some size comparisons, here's, um, Soundwave. Here is Bob. And here is Minifigure. And here is Shockwave. And here is Dino. So moving him on to his first transformation, I'm going to transform him real quick into his Cybertronian spaceship mode. Um, you just want to take this gun off. It's, yeah, I guess a bit of parts form it as well. Uh, you actually don't have to, I don't think, take it off. So you just want to kind of do this with his arms. Very weird looking. Yeah, this is a spaceship mode. I'm kidding. Um, you just want to move his shoulder just out of the way. Move his hands down and do this. Show that again on his gold one. You just want to kind of do this. Here's the wings. He wants to flip this ball joint around. And I will say he was actually built around the core of Dynasty. So that's why you might notice a little bit of familiarity. So you just want to straighten out the legs, flip them up, and kind of bend them down some to make them straight. Um, these kind of form some big old fins in the back, and this is a Cybertronian spaceship for his second mode, for his second alt mode. I had the idea for a Cybertronian spaceship and a lion transformer, so that's why I did this. Um, just want to twist this around. You then want to just simply um, kind of fold these back and around, I think. Hold on. Oh, you just want to get this front section to where it looks like this, so that way it forms a cockpit. You just want to kind of straighten it down and straighten it as much as you can, like bring it as much inwards not have anything pop off you want to just come back here and then you kind of want to half pop it off keep it on one stud though twist it around that's going to form the thruster and then you're going to want to take the gun and you're just going to want to set it on the same place it was before and then that kind of covers that up and boom there you have Cybermane in his Cybertronian spaceship mode. I'm going to keep this section real brief because this video is getting to be too long. Um, so in his Cybertronian spaceship mode, he's got some pretty cool wings, some cool tail fins, a thruster back here, the main cockpit section, a giant gun, and that's about it. Moving on to transformation, I'm not going to show any comparisons in this mode. Um, will however talk about that rise of the beast trailer that came out but that was disappointing to say the least that trailer oops don't do that um reason being because um it was only 30 seconds it wasn't really a trailer it was a tv spot i am disappointed to say the least i wasn't happy when i found about found out about that so you just want to kind of flip this like this you want to flip these like this flip that face panel around and that reveals a head 
just want to flip that like that again, not pop that off like it loves to do so very much. You just want to try to squeeze it in as much as possible. And then you just want to straighten this out, but leave it overhanging slightly to give it a slight more interesting look. So then you just simply want to pull the arms down, lift up the shoulder spike, shoulder pads. You want to kind of just press it with this T-joint up against this. You want to just bend these arms around and then what will become apparent, I really like this part, you just kind of flip this around and then you have to flip the paw of the animal around and then boom, you've got a hand formed from that. So then you do it with the other one. Sorry if my camera's a little bit wobbly. Um, it for some reason likes following a lot as you can see it actually tries to just follow this so there you have him in his robot mode and you can just give him his gun put it right there checking him out in robot mode he's got a few cool details he's got some like golden shins he's got some golden parts on his feet he's got a asymmetric design with the golden gauntlet on one side and just a normal black one on the other he, uh, he's got like no kibble at all. He's got this cool blaster. His head's pretty cool. Um, I did take this kind of detail, the circular part right here, out of the design for Mirage actually, from a Rise of the Beast. He has that kind of circular design there, which I find pretty cool. So moving on to some size comparisons. Sound wave. Um, you have Scarecrow. Bob, Dino, and here is Shockwave. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know my recent videos have, in my opinion at least, my most recent two videos, this one and the previous one, to be a bit of a drop in quality. I'm sorry about that. I don't like that. I can't promise there'll be better quality next time, but I can at least try. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Bye.